Hey, hey, welcome to another systems training. I am Jennifer J. And today we are answering the people. Okay. So I got to get my phone. So today we're going to answer a question that someone asked me and we are using go high level. So if you want go high level, click the link below and get your 14 day trial to go high level. It'll be uh, $97 after a trial. You can upgrade to 297, but I always recommend you do 297 so that, I mean, I'm sorry, I recommend you do $97 so that you could get used to the system and understand how to work it and then upgrade and live your best life. Or you could just stay at 97 and do you and rock out while everybody else is paying all of this money for all these systems. And you have one system, one login, one go, and it does everything. So go ahead and check, go high level out, but that is the system that I am using. So this question is specific to go high level and it was from a go high level user. Why? Cause go high level is the bomb. Oh God. All right. So here is the question. Hey Jen, how do I make sure that I get a notification when someone has replied to an email from the automation? Okay. So we are going to go over here in our system and we are going to set up this automation uh, from scratch. So let me get my life together over here. All right. So this is the go high level platform. This is my training platform. So there is no data in here other than what I've put in here. Um, training. All right. So we're going to go over to automations on the right hand side. Let me get rid of this. I am so sorry. Yes. And I want you to stop coming back. Okay. <laughs> All right. So we're going to click on automation and we're going to create a whole new entire workflow challenge with my glasses on. All right. So we're going to click on create workflow in the top right hand corner, the big green button. And then we're going to click on start from scratch. And then we're going to click to create new workflow again. So what we're creating here is the actual email workflow. So we're going to click on, I'm going to name this email workflow reply event training. So I know what this is when I come back in my system. Like, what is this that's not in a folder? Okay, so we're not going to add a trigger. We're just going to dive in. So the first thing we want to do is add an email. So I am going to click on send email. Make sure that you set your from and your from name and your from email and a subject. So I'm going to say reply event text. Okay. These glasses too strong. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna create an email just for this video. Reply to this email with your thoughts on our system. Damn. All right. All right. I'm gonna save that action and I'm gonna save. Um, here, I forgot to name it. I always name my steps, reply, event, email. Okay. Save action, save again. Okay. The next step we're going to set is a wait step. So we're going to click on wait. So we're going to click the plus. We're going to click on wait and what we're going to wait for is a reply. So we're going to change the wait for option to a contact reply. So with the contact reply, we want to tell it which step are we waiting on a reply from. So we're going to click on the reply to drop down 
and it will give you any step that is above this um, wait step. So we're going to click revive event email and save action. And so now I'm going to go back in here and I'm going to create a timeout. So what a timeout is, it, it is saying if the person doesn't do the action above in this time frame, please move to the next step. So again, please make sure that you have a strategy set for this before you get in here and do it. So you're going to say, um, and based on the use case, that's what, what you will say here. So if this was an aggressive, I need you to reply now, I need you to reply within 72 hours, whatever the case may be, um, I would say reply and then time out. If they don't reply in an hour, I need to know. So then I'm going to hit set and wait. I'm going to name this. I'm sorry. I'll be quick to say. <laughs> so wait for reply. And then I put time out one hour now you could do this one day five days whatever you want to do just make sure that it's in alignment with the strategy and the goal that you're trying to achieve here all right so reply event email wait for a timeout now the next step would be to create a condition because the question was how can i make sure i receive a reply all right, so I'm going to click the plus sign. I'm going to go down here to the if else condition, and I am going to click on the if else. So now with the if else, I'm going to change the word condition to my question. Did the customer contact lead, whatever you want to say, reply? And if you want that to be a whole sentence to the email, do whatever. You only get 50 characters in there. In there, So um, make sure that you make it make sense. But it needs to make sense for you or someone else to come back in here and look. Okay. And so I am going to always change this to my positive or whatever I want the positive to be. So I'm going to put yes. Now, right here. We are going to change this to look for a reply message, not necessarily a specific answer, but reply yes or no. We're not looking for that. We're looking for just a reply. So what I'm going to do is I am going to go down to where is it? Contact reply. And then I'm going to click on replied message and I am going to change reply message to is not empty because I don't care what the reply is. I just want to know did they reply, right? That was the question. I didn't ask any further questions, but let's just say you're looking for a yes or a no. If you're looking for a yes or a no, you're going to change this to a couple things. You can do contact replied, and then this will give you the option to select yes or no. You can do intent type. Was their intent positive or negative or is not no, is not yes, is not empty, all of those. But we're using replied message is not empty once you get into using these you have to be a little bit more specific and it's going to require you to continue to come back to manage this so um and people don't do what you tell them to do anyway so is not empty will be the best option here and then i'm going to click save action and then I'm going to save at the top. Okay. Now, the next step is, did the customer reply to the email? If the customer replied, then I want a notification. 
So on the yes branch, we're going to click on the plus and we're going to add an internal notification option. So we're going to go to send internal notification. And so internal notification, what type of notification do you want? Do you want an email or do you want a text? I don't recommend notification because that's the notification in the system. So if you're trying to get an external notification to your phone or to a specific email, you would choose one or the other. So if we choose text, let's just say we choose text. I want a text. So you're going to select text and then you're going to select the user type. So you have the options to text all the users. And what that means is all the users in your account. So whoever you have added to your account as a user, it will send a text to all of them. Um, assigned user will be whoever is assigned. So if you created an assigned event for this, it will add that. A custom number, you can have this text any number. You would just enter the number here or a particular user. Now, when you do this custom number, make sure you use the full 10 digits when you put the number in here. So one and then the area code and then the number. Um, now, you may have to put a plus in front of that. So test that to make sure. Okay, so now I'm gonna do particular user. I'm gonna always select myself. And what I'm going to do is using when I send a notification, like to my team or whatever, I like to do this. <laughs> I always do this. I know they're like, I'm tired of these little SOS and these little, <laughs> sorry, emojis. But it's a notification, right? So I put a notification and I talk to them conversationally. So I'll say, bam, uh, so-and-so replied to the email or whatever the message is that I'm going to say or whatever their next steps is. That's usually what I put there. Um, and then uh -huh, I always put like, for me, I put PBS, whatever this was, I will put PBS email workflow notification system. <laughs> um, that's pretty much what I do. You don't have to do that, but that's what I do. Okay, so we have that there. And then I'm going to hit save action. I'm going to crap stop. I'm going to hit save. And... I'm going to change this internal notification to Jennifer J. Oh, internal SMS. I'm going to put SMS. Okay. Save. Save. All right. So now, number one, all of this makes sense when you come in here later. And I definitely recommend you test it. So how do you test it? You go out, let me see, email workflow reply event. Pay attention to what the name of it is. Okay, first of all, make sure you publish it, hit save. And then go to, I'm gonna go back to workflows because I really wanna go to contacts. And which one of my little fake contacts do I wanna use? I'll use this one. Yeah, I'll use this one. I'll use this Jennifer. Okay, so I'm going to click on Jennifer. I'm going to go up to the robot and I am going to add to that workflow. So this was the workflow. They always want to action. Testing for the people. <laughs> and then hit add to campaign all right so now hit okay what email was that all right you just heard that email come on my phone or maybe you didn't because my mic my sure mic um that's attached to crisp will cancel out that noise so let's go to the automation before i reply 
So what you're going to see is me sitting here, right? So I'm sitting here waiting. And if you look at the history, it'll tell you. I was added to the workflow. It sent me an email. It's waiting. It's waiting for my reply. So I am now going to reply from my phone. And what I'm going to say is go high level is the most amazing software and I love working in it. I really do. I geek out on this system. Okay. Bam. All right. So I hit sent and what we're going to do is refresh. Boom. I know you couldn't hear that because again, my sure microphone. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to back to contacts. I'm going to go to that contact record so you can see it. So here's my reply. Reply event test. This is what I replied. Go high level is the most amazing software and you love working it. All right. Now, um, I want to go back to the automation and you're going to see that I am gone out of there and it, it's hit this already because I got the text. So as you see, internal notification to Jennifer J executed, finished, it's finished. So it sent me this. And if you click on there, you can see that it went through. So the internal notification went through to this con to me, Jennifer J. Um, but I set it up as a text and the text came to my phone. So that is the end of that. And that is how you set up a notification so that people that you can get notified. Now, if you wanted to set up a notification to notify multiple people, you have to set up a individual send internal notification um, for each person you want notified at the moment. Hopefully they'll do it where we could just check the people off who we want notified in one step and leave that alone. Um, but right now, and what I'm, let me go back. Cause I'm mean, like, wait, girl, what? Um, right here. Okay, right here. So see this. See where it says pick a user. You there's no selection box, right? You can't select. So if I wanted to send to different people, unless I'm sending to all users, um, or unless I'm sending to another thing they that would be wonderful is if they could say assigned to a group. So if you have like a group, like the tech, like I have a tech team, the tech team needs this notification, then that would be beautiful. But until they catch up to that, which they will, don't worry. Um, just duplicate this and click these three dots, hit copy, copy action, bam, go here, change that to systems team, and bam, that's really just one email. This is, I set that up. It goes to an email for the system team because they didn't have that option. So it'll say system team. And then you could just say SMS to systems team. If you wanted multiple people to get notifications. So for real, I'm done for real, for real. For real, for real, for real, for real. Y'all took it too much of my time. <laughs> but hopefully this was beautifully helpful for you if it was go ahead subscribe and like and follow my channel for more go high level tutorials if there's a video if there's a process you want me to record a video for go ahead and drop it in the comments and i will get that recorded and up for you all right i'm out